Australia looked tremendous in the process. A unanimous decision of victory over Lorraine via Yobas in their rematch. She won across the board 95 to 94. Please welcome from Australia, still the champion, Louisa Houghton, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the champion who looked tremendous. She's an exciting fighter. She threw a lot of punches. She got up off the canvas having suffered a knockdown, but she came out, closed the show, and we will give her the podium if you have any questions. Louisa? Brooklyn, we go hard. Yeah, I told you guys I was uh, rock your socks off, so I hope I entertained you all. Um, I had a little bit of ring rust in there, but, you know, I felt like I was pressing the action and landing more, more punches and... The sixth round, I uh, had a bit of a slip, but, you know, I got up like a true champion and uh, pressed, pressed on and pushed forward, and we came out victorious like a warrior. Um, I would just like to thank the PBC, thank uh, Al Heyman and Louis de Cubis Jr., and, uh, of course, my man Elvis Grant for everything that he's done this year. It's been a big year for us, and, you know, we've had a minute out of the ring, so I'm grateful to be here and back and be presenting women's boxing to the PBC. So thank you guys all for having me, uh, Tom Brown and uh, Kelly also. I really appreciate everybody, Thorson, and everyone that's done all the hard work behind the scenes. So to you guys. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> No, it was good. It was just a bit of a quick shot. Um, you know, Elvis has always told me just to stay calm and stay down and then, uh, you know, don't jump up straight away. So I was just listening to him from the corner and we were good. I think, you know, you just get up like a true champion and continue to focus on what you're doing. Um, like I said, I always had Elvis, like, if you ever get dropped, you know, just stay down, stay relaxed, look at me and, you know, get back up before, you know, and just continue. But I feel like it pushed me to push the pressure even more and um, land some more heavier shots to the body, which were landing as while she was holding me, so. Congratulations on a victory. Um, hi. Um, <laughs> you know... This is a, you know, it's it's great for, you know, boxing in your, you know, part of the world, in the Australasia area, you know, that you're representing them in the way that you are. Uh -huh. um, what legacy, you know, are you looking to leave um, for, you know, the Australasia region where, you know, boxing is really on the rise on a world scene? Yeah, boxing is definitely on the rise, especially for the women. Um, I represent my country, Australia, and I'm very grateful to be here and be representing them on this level. Um, it's very challenging to come all the way from Perth, which is you know 11,000 miles away, be away from my children, and be able to represent this sport and also the women and my country. So I feel very uh, grateful to be here and blessed by God. Yeah, I understand. You know, there's a lot of fighters doing that as well, so they can can create uh, more fights and things like that. But for me, I love boxing. Um, I don't know. I'm just so drawn to it. I, I'd rather just stay focused on the one. I've only been boxing for a short time, just a little over five years, so I've accomplished a lot in that time. Um, you know, I, th I really believe that women's boxing is um, really on the rise and they're starting to pick up. You know, there's a lot of great women out there fighting and showcasing and putting on fights of the nights and you know we always steal the show um, because people are very excited to see something different and we're an attraction to such a big card because you know they put on a lot of great guys and then they slip in an, a, a good female fight in there and it, it's an attraction and people are attracted to watching it and we always bring a lot of energy so
You know what? I'm I'm in favor for whatever's going. For whatever it needs to be, I've just got to do what I got to do. So to me, it doesn't really make much difference. Um, you know, if everybody wanted it, then that's what it would be. Just like the two, three minute rounds, it's the same thing. I think this time she came harder to fight, but like I said, I had a year off as well. So finding that distance and getting back in the ring uh, with a few challenges throughout the year has probably played a big part of it. But she definitely came more prepared, I believe. Yep. What was he saying to me? I don't actually... I just what he was saying to me in my head because he already prepped me for this all the time. We we go through so many things in the ring that he says, you know what, you're fighting at this level. If you ever get dropped, which you probably will one day because you're a boxer, just stay down, don't jump up, and just keep calm, and then get back up. And that's what I did. And then we uh, carried on like warrior. <laughs> Luisa, final question here for me. How much pressure do you put on yourself? Because as you said, you, you represent your country. You're representing women. You're representing women's boxing, which has for years been sort of in the shadows. How much mm -hmm. pressure do you put on yourself to have not just a win, but a great fight, great performance every night so that the people behind you get a better chance, so that the women behind you can you know, get a step up, get more pace, so that you can make it easier for those coming right behind you? Yeah, I definitely do put a lot of pressure on myself. I think anybody at that elite level that wants to continue to rise and to continue to grow will always put a lot of pressure on themselves. I think that we can be our worst enemies sometimes, wanting to do better and better all the time. But it's definitely, you know, when you have have that place to be able to create that change, then you're always wanting to do better. So that pressure is always going to be there. It's just how you handle it. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to fight uh, Fabiana Butiki, um, who's the champion at this weight. Um, I'd love that fight. And then I'd love to go up to 105 and uh, take on the WBC champion there. Uh, I think her name's Teeny Tina, Tiny Tina, or something like that. And you know, um, there's also some other great fights at 108, Sanisa Estrada, who just fought Marlena Spaza. You know, these are all fantastic fights. You know, I'm not just here to stay at 102 because I won the world championship at 108 pounds as well. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of fights there and I'm excited to have them all. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you guys, I appreciate you all. Thank <laughs> you.